Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Sure, sounds fun. Yes, love that enthusiasm. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Yes, very interesting. That's what science is all about. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloatfly gland. You see, the oversized bloatfly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? Get the blowfly gland, got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. Don't you remember me? No, can't say I do. Did you need something from the science center? Yeah, I have this bloat fly gland. You asked for it. Oh, the field trip, of course. Oh, wonderful. Let me just take that. These glands are definitely the product of adaptation to radioactive exposure. Maybe our own insides have adapted as well. Wouldn't that be something? Here's a little reward for my new junior scientist.